Today, we're just going to remind ourselves about equivalent fractions. Before we start, let's just look at this word equivalent and just make sure we all know what it means. If we say two things are equivalent, really what we're saying is that they are the same, that they have the same value. So to be equivalent means that you have the same value. So equivalent fractions, we will see, are fractions that might look different to each other, but actually have the same value. They turn out to be exactly the same quantity, the same number. Okay, we're going to start with our fraction wall, and you've got one in your homework book in front of you, which you can use to follow along. What I want to do is I want to look at all the fractions that are equivalent, in other words, that are the same value as one third. Now, we know that we get one third by cutting the strip up into three pieces and just taking one of them. So anything that's as big as one third will be this much. So what we can do is put a line down at that place where one third is and see what comes out as equivalent. Let's do that now. Okay, so you can see in this picture, I have taken a line and I've put it down along where there is one third. And I'm going to see which fractions it meets up with. Can you see here with the purples, it mix up, meets up exactly at this point. And so we can immediately see that 1, 2, 6 is exactly the same amount as 1 third. If I carry on going down my fraction wall, I'll see the next point where it coincides exactly on the line is here. And so 1, 2, 3, I, if I take 3 ninths, it's exactly the same as 2 sixths and exactly the same as 1 third. If I carry on going down, the next time I see is when I get to the twelfths, 1, 2, 3, 4 of the twelfths. So 4 twelfths is the same as 3 ninths is the same as 2 sixths is the same as 1 third. Let's just have a look at that, put them all together as numbers and see. We've seen that one third, two sixths, three ninths, and four twelfths are all equal to each other. In other words, they represent exactly the same number. Can we notice how they are related to each other? Well, have a look here. If I take 3 and I multiply it by 2, I get 6. And if I take 1 and multiply it by 2, I get 2. Look here. If I take 3 and multiply it by 3, I get 9. And if I take 1 and multiply it by 3, I get 3. And if I take 3 and multiply it by 4, I get 12. And if I take 1 and multiply it by 4, I get 4. And that gives me an idea of how I can find equivalent fractions. As long as I multiply the top of the equation, top of the fraction, and the bottom of the fraction by exactly the same number, I will get an equivalent fraction. So, I could also find another equivalent fraction by multiplying the top and the bottom of this fraction by any number I want to. Let's multiply by 100. As long as I multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing, I will have an equivalent fraction. So 1 over 3, 1 third, is exactly the same number as 100 over 300. And just to make sure we know how to do it every which way, we've seen, right, that 
4 twelfths and 1 third are equivalent fractions. And 1 third is a lot simpler, right? All those the numbers in it are smaller than the numbers in this one. So how can we get back from 4 twelfths? If we got 4 twelfths, how can we get it down to the simple form of the fraction? Well, you could multiply top and bottom of the fraction to get an equivalent fraction. And so you can also divide top and bottom by the same number to get an equivalent fraction. So to get an equivalent fraction here, if as long as I do the same thing to the top and the bottom, I will have an equivalent fraction. So if I divide the top of the fraction by 4 and I divide the bottom of the fraction by 4, I'll have an equivalent fraction. Dividing the top of the fraction by 4, 4 divided by 4 gives me 1, 12 divided by 4 gives me 3, so I get that 4 twelfths and 1 third are equivalent fractions. What if I was given something like, let's go with 6 twelfths. Can I find an equivalent fraction that's simpler? Well, here I can see quite easily that if I can, I can divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by 6. So, if I divide the top by 6, I must also divide the bottom by 6. And 6 divided 6 is 1, 12 divided 6 is 2. So, 6 twelfths is equivalent to 1 half. Okay, I want you quickly now to find all the fractions on this fraction wall that are equivalent to three quarters. Then want you to go and show how we could have got those by just multiplying top and bottom of fraction by the same thing. Pause the video now and do this in your homework book. Okay, hopefully you identified where three quarters is, one, two, three of the quarters, put a line down it, and you went to go and find all the fractions that are equal, and you found that you have three quarters. The next one that you came across would have been six eighths, and if you went further down your line here, you would have got the last one, which is... 9 twelfths. So you had 3 quarters, you had 6 eighths, and you had 9 twelfths, and you can see easily that multiplying top and bottom by 2 gets you from 3 quarters to 6 eighths, so that's how you get your equivalent fractions there, and multiplying top and bottom here by 3 gets you from 3 quarters to 9 twelfths. So 3 quarters, 6 eighths and 9 twelfths are all exactly the same.